Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is Societal Narcissism. This video is sponsored by contribution from Julia, and here's her story. Hello, hello, Narc Mom invited me over for dinner. I was there for 45 minutes and left. She is so absolutely insufferable. My father wanted to keep a cool pickle jar that he found, and my mother was flipping out on him, name calling and all. Stomping around the house like a brat, the whole narc meltdown. Then after that, she tried starting a fight with me because I asked for pesto with my pasta. She put a big plop on my plate, even though I asked her repeatedly, repeatedly not to. She said, too bad, it's so you can taste it. I tried it and pointed out that it was good, but not the best pesto I ever had. <clears throat> she got completely offended. Well, too bad. Me and Daddy like it. It's good. I said, yes, it's good, but I've had better. I'm just saying. At this point, I'm already, I'm already ready to be back in the safety and comfort of my own house. One of us... One of us started a conversation about a house we used to live in during my early teen years. I brought up the fact that I used to love cooking there because in the story I was telling, I was looking through the fridge for ingredients. I was jokingly but seriously said, I loved cooking before the passion was stolen away from me. My mother knew exactly what I meant, so she immediately went into attack mode saying, what do you mean stolen away from? I answered, well, whenever I would cook, you and dad would complain that everything I made was bad and that I was wasting your ingredients and to just stop. Her response, are you kidding me? Get over it. You're a grown adult now. You don't have to blame everyone for your problems. See, and these are the parents that you go no contact with and then act like they don't know why you've gotten no contact. Act like... Oh, I made some mistakes. I mean, she says all the things out of the playbook. Get over it. It was a long time ago. Asking you to explain yourself. Constantly pushing buttons. Looking for a response. Looking for a fight. Then, when you go no contact with them, they'll go run, go run on YouTube. Go run to Facebook group. Go run on TikTok. TikTok and act like I don't know why my I don't know why my adult children don't speak to me anymore. I have no idea. I was good. I was supported. We had a big house. I always cooked. But what they don't tell you is the misery, the misery they piled on top of everything that was there. And they'll play dumb and be like, I don't know why. I, I don't know why I, I have been gone no contact with. I said I'm leaving with a big smile on my face. I stood up and started to walk away when my dad said, Julia, stay for some carrot cake. I said, no, thank you, because it was from my birthday over a week ago. He then asked, when was Justin's birthday? Justin is my boyfriend. I answered confused, June 14th. He looked at me even more confused. Then I realized, then I realized and said, did you think that we had that cake for Justin's birthday? He said, yes, I did, and laughed. I said, good night, and walked out. These are the people. This is a very short story, and I appreciate it. But again, these are the incidents that happen over and over and over again with these people that drive you to the decision to finally cut them out and go no contact. These are the incidents that they act like they don't know that they happened, and then they'll act like that they that they have no idea why they have been gone no contact when gone no contact with and then they will go on the internet they will join these estranged parents groups on facebook on tiktok on youtube and act like i don't know why my adult children have gone no contact with me i had julie we had julie over we had Julia over for dinner and she was demanding and she just walked out for no reason, for no good reason. And now she won't talk to us and now there's this thing called no contact and she won't tell us why we've been gone no contact with. These are the things that these estranged parents will not tell you. 
These are the type of incidents that have gone down why all of us have made the decision to go no contact. This is the toxicity that we have been dealing with since childhood through our adult years. And then they will have the audacity to sit there and go online and bash you and act like they have no idea why they are estranged, why they've been gone, no contact with. Julia could sit there and go point by point to what purpose? So her mother can yell and scream, so her mother can gaslight, so her mother can deny it. What's the point? They know what they've done. They don't care. They can't give up the toxicity. The narcissistic parent is addicted to the toxicity, period. So, very short story. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Julia, for the contribution and the story. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, something you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up a Skype, a phone call, have a private video made, you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who needs help and can't afford it, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful, because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with either the Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, and email links in the description box below. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. Also, be sure to subscribe to both my Rumble channels. Follow me on Twitter and Telegram as well. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been Societal Narcissism. Take care, everyone.